All right, today is uh, 3 2 23, and we have a welding tip here that my friend picked up on YouTube, but I guess uh, too much of a good thing isn't too bad on this. So here's the idea um, if we're trying to weld something, for example, this is metal and this is metal, and we're trying to weld it, and if we're not a good welder or got things set in the wrong um, settings, the weld can just go straight through. You can burn a hole through it. So what my friend is suggesting is doing this. Well, use a piece of copper pipe that's cut. Okay. Use it as a support, a backing for the weld. The, the weld. You put it in there. If you had burned through, you just uh, use that as a support and then fill up the, the, the hole, I guess, that you where you burned through. Okay. Yeah. So once so first of all if you can get access to doing this then this is gravy so once this copper tubing is underneath here it's like a hand holding up that uh melted uh, steel that's about to drip through and then it'll help st uh, stay there to uh not burn a hole and so further talking um we found out uh or it, it was stated that the steel when it touches the copper they're like two different materials so it doesn't like to stick onto the copper and then even though the steel that is melting and going through is super hot when it touches this material it is relatively cold so it's not hot enough to burn a hole through it so you're good in in those two aspects one is it's a different material doesn't want to bond two is this is cold and it won't burn a hole through it and so that's our tip thanks for watching